Oh, guys, check it out, the Lose Hyper Mag. I fished a free tournament back in March on the Fishing Chaos app called Mock Madness. And the payout for second place to 10th place, I got ninth, was the same. You got a $100 gift card to Mock and a $100 gift card to Lose. It's really just a $200 gift card to Lose because it's the same exact website. And so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna walk you through all the features of the bad boy, share with you why I chose this and why I'm pumped about taking it out in the water this season. Now, as some of you guys know who follow the channel, I love fishing the wacky worm. In fact, I poured about 500 of these guys this past winter and I look forward to throwing them. But these have already been slaying bass in 46 to 55 degree water. So don't sleep on this technique in this temperature, folks. I promise you. So what I wanted to do is upgrade my spinning reel because I've been using this guy for a long time and it's a budget reel, right? And I had to fix it a few times over the years. As you can see right here, you can see the bearings in there because you got plastic here and you got metal here and that's that's not good and i use this a whole heck of a lot so i did some research and i landed on the lose hyper mag and i like this for a variety of reasons let me tell you why see what sets this reel apart is really the lightweight magnesium body and the high strength magnesium skeletal rotor now let's stop for a second and tell you why that's important it's rigid right it doesn't absorb vibrations as well as aluminum so you feel more through the reel when really against the resistance of that particular bait now they tout a a proprietary forge main gear which is supposed to create that buttery smooth reeling performance and right now man i'm telling you what it is buttery smooth i will give them that uh, we'll see after i get this out in the water but for the price of this bad boy it should hold up it has 11 stainless steel bearing system now fishing reels with 11 ball bearings can improve the reels performance and smoothness especially during casting and retrieving line, right? The bearings support the gears and the spool, which can prevent kind of twisting and torquing when fighting a fish. And really what it helps it do, is it helps that reel last longer. And so essentially you are protecting your investment. Now, I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna like the Win Slims, this handle knob here, because I really did like the thicker ones over here. However, you can see it's kind of peeling off in this budget one. Uh, however, this right here, the, the, the wind grips is tacky and comfortable when wet, when cold, when hot, and in humid conditions. Your fingers are not going to slip off this when you set that hook unexpectedly. So this Hypermag Speed Spin is one of the lightest weight, highest performing spinning reels really in its class. All right, now let's talk numbers. The 200 and 300 size, this is a 300 size, by the way. Um, they weigh in at 7.2 ounces or 7.6 ounces. So this is a 7.6 ounce, They're making it one of the lightest high performance spinning reels available and check this out the 200 gathers around 32 inches of line per turn while the 300 this guy takes about 34 inches per turn now both models have a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio which is perfect for various fishing techniques all right let's keep walking through this it comes with a knurled aluminum spool right here the knurled really is that metal finish that creates that diamond shape pattern in the metal and that pattern improves grip over a smooth surface, right? So whenever you tie your knots out, it's not gonna keep slipping around. You can actually spool up your line. Another nice thing about this guy is it comes with a sealed carbon multi-disc drag system. Now, the sealed carbon multi-disc drag system is really a drag mechanism that uses either a carbon fiber or synthetic washers to compress against the metal of the reel spool. And the washers can be made out of nylon, Teflon, Durlin, but the drag is sealed with O-rings to keep water out. Now the Hypermag, this guy right here from Luz, is made with a carbon fiber drag system, right? And carbon fiber is considered the best material for drag washers because of its effective heat dissipation. Now they also tout that it comes with Luz proprietary speed lube right and loose speed lube is really this a lubricant that's designed specifically for high speed reels and they tout that it allows maximum performance right and so really it's going to do everything you need it to do it's going to keep moisture out it's going to deter corrosion it's really going to increase the lifespan of your spinning reel now historically the retrieval speeds and pickup of the spinning reels have really been lacking when it comes to their counterparts within the bait casting reels but with a 6-2 to 1 
it's right on the heels and what a lot of the performance coming out of the bait caster reels can do for you. Now, the reason I love the Hyper Mag and its pickup speed is I fish the wacky worm a lot and I fish it as a target strategy, right? And if I don't get a bite within the first five tugs, I'm reeling that bad boy in and throwing to a different target area. And so the faster that I can get that line back to me and the faster I can throw that back out means I can cover more area. And by logic, increase my chances of catching more bass. Now here in just a moment, I'm gonna be pairing my Luz Hypermag spinning reel with Seaguar eight pound and Vizx line, and I'm gonna be throwing it on my Impulse seven foot finesse rod. Now I love this thing. I've caught hundreds and hundreds of bass on this bad boy. And so this is gonna be a freaking fishing machine when I get this hooked up here in about 10 minutes. Oh, check it out, juicy. So if you're interested in upgrading your spinning reel and you're like, hey, that one looks sweet. I have no affiliation with Luz whatsoever Whatsoever, but I'll throw this in the link in the description below. And if you're like, whoa, way too much money, I totally get it. And you're like, hey, I'm gonna stick with my budget reel and you haven't oiled or lubricated this in a very long time, I got the video for you. 11 places you should be greasing and oiling your spinning reel. And you can check that out right there. It's got over 50,000 views. Thanks for watching guys. See you later. Let's put the line on this guy. Oh.